So she wants to have 10 children. Oh Lord, your ovaries. Hey guys, it's Mary here and welcome back to another episode of The Sims 2 Apartment Life Season 2. And this should be part 53, I think. And we are back in Duck's uh, family and things will look a little bit different is because on stream I moved them into a new house because the other house was really really cramped and I got this house from Mother Sim. I'll leave a link to it in the description box below if you guys want to get it but it's really really nice and I think this one is called Canyon Heights or something like that um, by Tracy Manley so I really did like this house and it's suitable for all the family so I just thought you know what why not get it. So we moved them in and um, in this episode I'm going to decorate uh, the house and also like get them all settled in and everything like that. So nothing much has changed apart from the live stream from them moving so everything's all good. But I'm going to go ahead and speed furnish this house and you guys get to see it as well and I will see you afterwards. <laughs>
that guys i finally finished uh decorating the house and it took forever but it was totally worth it so i want to give you a quick house tour around everything and what i did and why i did certain things so as you go into the house um i don't know from either side there's a door here and there's a door over here as well so like you can go in either way but anyway as you go in from here you get like the small little toilet downstairs which is really, really cute and i really did, did like that and i just added an extra mirror to it and then over um get out of this corridor area you got the dining open plan dining and open plan kitchen which is what i love the most i love the openness of kitchens and dinings together like it looks really really cool and i love the dark oak wood um furniture and also the a little bit around the walls um over here so the dark oak walls here are really really lovely and i really do like that so there were a couple of tables in this corner like you know um counters in this corner and i took it out and i added my own stuff to it so i added like this high chairs for the babies that we have and also um some other decoration stuff to make it look more homely i took out the double table which i put in earlier because i didn't really like the way it looked so i just put this one table in and it was re it's really really nice and i love that add an extra painting um you know um just added more decoration stuff to the kitchen nothing special went to the kitchen i didn't change anything because everything already looks really good and i really do like the way it looks already and i added an easel in the corner which was really really nice and and I also i added um a rug and also a new sofa to the living room because it was the other sofa was looking really really ugly and i didn't like it at all so that's what i did and yeah this is what it looks like it's really, really nice and i like it i like a white finishing in a room because it makes it look modern i like the modern rooms and it's really, really nice I added a tv which was the recolor that i showed in my first sims 2 uh cc shopping video so that's where they've got the white finishing recolor for that for this tv uh the curtains that i have here they weren't added already when i got the house i, I added them myself when i was doing the stream so i added little curtains on every single window because i, I want to look more homely than just look like you know open windows where everyone can see your business so i prefer to do that and then i think i added some are these sliding doors or just one massive windows the massive windows okay yeah so massive windows so i just put curtains over them because why not and i added a modern bookshelf here which is so lovely and i actually really really like it it looks so cute and it makes the house look even better than it already does um this is a little study which i really like so i added a piano a tv where kids can sit down and enjoy whilst the adults are in the living room watching news or something like that so i added that so like more people get the chance to watch tv than normal and then i added a little computer desk here where people can just you know sit down relax and you know play games and everything like that so that's what i did and that's it that's a little bit of downstairs i added a toilet in this little cupboard thing here because all there was in this cupboard was actually a um a little bin but since i've got a wall bin there that extracts to the bin outside i literally just put a little toilet there so just in case anyone wants to go use the toilet they can they have many options basically so then when you go upstairs uh you have to go upstairs twice by the way and then you go upstairs so you have this big room which is gonna be for jack because he's like you know the oldest and all that kind of stuff before he goes to university so this is his room and it's really really cute i like modern finishings i really really do i like the black and white detail that i went for it's really nice and plus with a teal kind of wall it looks so good and i love it and i like add a little clo rack clothes right to make it look more personal and yeah that's his room it's really nice i love ikea stuff you know me and my ikea so it's really cute and then we have a little bed which is a cc and i got it ages ago um i can't remember when but i got it ages ago but it's like the theo room decor something like that so i got that a very very long time ago and i really do like that um if i find a link i'll leave it in, in, the, in the description box for you guys to go get this bed but i really do like it and it's really, really lovely so i went also with a black detail around this room as well just to make it look more modern and then i added some clothes to make it look more personal and a rug and a sofa i was gonna add a tv but then i thought no because i don't really want to be locking room doors to people's room because i want everyone to be free and go wherever they please so i just took out the tv because i know when, when the kids are bored they will come watch tv in their parents room because it's the closest tv and i don't want them to do that because it's going to wake up anyone sleeping in here which is going to be the parents and this room has an ensuite which is really really lovely and i really did like that i like the toilet in the corner all private and personal and i like the shower and i have a little wall here for the bath which makes it look so 
uh it makes it private and it's just really really nice and i love that out here we have a little desk as well with, more, with another computer i want to add more computers to this house because i, I didn't want to put them into each person's personal room because it'll wake them up when they're sleeping so i wanted to add it out here when no one you know can disturb them all that kind of stuff and then here's the phone as well so when the phone rings they come here and pick it up if they please and yeah it just makes it look really really nice and i really like, like that and then here's a the family bathroom with two mirrors two sinks a bath and a and a little um toilet here and then a little plant there and i love how the, the wall is cornered off to uh give the people in the bathroom more privacy which is really, really nice as well i need to take out this um lighting because i already got a main light anyway but i'm hoping that this bathtub actually works because i'm not really sure i thought the whole place had to be you know free for people to actually use the bathtub but i have to see if the bathtub will work if it doesn't work i'm gonna put a shower in instead because i don't want to like just ruin the look of the house so i don't really know how i feel about that but i might have to move stuff around to make it better i guess over here's gonna be harry and Jaden's room because they're both sharing rooms because we have two little kids we which need their own personal rooms so this is going to be their room where they have their own uh, wardrobe here for their own personal stuff they have a mood board a desk for their homework and then two beds in separate areas not stuck together in one corner and then they have their another table here and then another um, notice board for them as well. and also bookshelf if they want to write in their diary or they want to like just read books for the sake of it so this is their room it's just really nice and i love the white finishing because i just I really like white in a room it just it makes it so it looks so modern and it makes it look bright and clean as well um here's another family bathroom which has a bathtub again inside and it has a toilet and a sink kind of like covered area they had two sinks and a mirror so i took out the, the second sink because i know people won't be able to get to it because this toilet is in the way so i just took out that one and then i just added a flower in there as well and i need to take out this lighting because it's not meant to be there so that is gone now as well and that's what i did i think i think it looks really really nice and i really do like it and then over here is the baby room um i'm really confused on what color theme i should go for the walls because i i wasn't really looking forward to doing all white again so i was a bit confused so i just went for like a beigey look for it i don't know like a grayish beige and yeah and then i had the two cots in the back and then the changing table over here and then some little toys for them to play with and then the toilet that they can use to uh, use um, and then a little beige rug to go with the furniture as well and then some maybe some wall designs and a mobile there so that's basically the whole house and off camera i did add a treadmill um to the outside balcony area because i didn't i realized that there wasn't any and you know people need to be fit and stuff so I, I did, so I added that in and then I also added a chess table in because our little boy Harry wanted a chess table as well so he can earn some uh, logic skills so I put that in for him because he likes learning some logic skills and and then I put the swing set was outside and that's really all I've done with outside because we already have a giant pool here and a jacuzzi as well so there's not much to do again with this house and we still have a hell of a lot of money left because I'm not gonna lie I did use a cheat uh, uh, to get them more money because I really wanted to move house really really badly and it was taking forever for uh, a duck to earn the money um, for us to get a new house so I just thought must well just do it so I can get it done over with because it, it would take it would take it too long and there wasn't any space for the for the little kids to move around and to play and stuff so I, I felt really really bad uh, about keeping them in a bad environment and clumped up environment so I just bought this house and yeah that's that's basically what happened and I love this house so much it's really really cute and I just can't wait to play with it so let's go ahead and now go on to live mode so everyone's really, really happy actually that the house all sorted so I'm gonna go ahead and get oh Laura Laura is already doing it already okay oh look who's cuddling her oh it's Faith we finally I, I completely forgot it's been so long since I actually last played the family and I forgot we actually have the first girl ever and we have another son called Ashton so that's really really cute um let's go put Faith in her crib if if it's possible okay it's gonna it's gonna be a, be a bit weird going up and down the stairs and all that for this house but i'll get used to it eventually i will i'm not, I'm not gonna lie it was gonna take a bit of time but i will get used to it oh yeah i, I need a room for um her spells and stuff hmm i completely forgot about that her spell room okay we've got two bathrooms so we may not actually need both bathrooms 
So I I don't know. I like to have more bathrooms so that everyone has a chance to do whatever they feel like doing. So I think I'll keep the big bathroom here and then I don't know. I think uh, there's a real little room downstairs. But we also need a downstairs bathroom as well. So, hmm. I don't know if I should get rid of this ensuite here. Now, okay, so I'm going to put her witch stuff probably in this bathroom here because I want her to be able to do her witch magic and everything in her own private room. So let's go see. We have her altar stuff here. And then we have her witch pot here. So, yeah. This room is perfect for her size, to be honest. I really do like it. It's a bit scary, but, you know, I like it. Um, okay, I'm going to put this in the room somewhere, but I don't know where. That's a problem. Okay, I'm going to put it in this room because we already have enough flowers as it is. So, let's get rid of that and let's put that up there. And I think that's all her witch stuff, I, think, I believe. Yeah, that's all her witch stuff. So, she has her own witchy room here, which I'm going to change the wallpapers now because I want to make it to look more evil and witchy um let's see if we can find what i need i need it to be dark gloomy a little bit scary and yeah i don't know it's a bit too dark isn't it <laughs> i don't want it to be a brick wall because it's gonna be so weird oh yeah i did get this in my first cc shopping videos which is really nice i like that actually um should we make it that one no, that's a bit too it's too uh four more isn't it I can make it this colour because, well, it is, it's a, it is a witchy room, so, witchery room, whatever you call it. Oh, I might make it this one. I like this colour a lot. I'm going to change the flooring to maybe a dark oak. Um, I love my dark oaks. It's so lovely. Yes. That's that's the witchy room, that right there. It's a witchery room. So, that is her witch room so she can go ahead and practice her magic if she please and do whatever she feels like doing. Um, I'm going to get the over here this face change is it, is it just me or is this face changing no this face i thought his face changed but no he didn't okay so uh let's let's go ahead oh, oh we need a car as well dang we don't have a car okay hmm okay that what i'm gonna do about that is to try i might put a car right here because why not? Uh, is there a place to colour this? Uh, I might put this one. Yeah, I'm just going to put a car right here because <laughs> why not? Okay, and then let's go buy a nice lovely car for the family. Um, I like this car here because it's really, really nice and it's modern. But I don't want a van. I just want a nice small car. Yeah, I just want to get this car. Why not? Okay, so Laura's going to take um, Faith up to her bedroom. And I'm going to get... Oh, you stop dancing together. I'm come and pick up Ashton. And uh, let's take Ashton to his room. What's up with his skin? I think I need to change his skin again. Yeah, I think because the default skin uninstalled. So I'm going to have to... Ch oh, the skin are changed now. That looks so weird. Okay, I might have to give them a makeover in the next few episodes because, yeah, they definitely need a makeover. So which crib was Faith going into? I think it was that one. So let's go put Ashton in this one. If it's the right crib. I hope it is because if it's not, that's going to be so awkward. I'm, I'm going to get um, Jack to come, on, come over here and claim his desk. And then go and take a wee. Yeah, what's everyone going a long way around? What is happening? Okay, let's lock um, allow house allow household only lock allow allow household only. Why is everyone going around? Is it because this thing's obstructing the entrance? It's not. There's another entrance, you know. Everyone's going all the way around the back, and it's really annoying. <laughs> but oh well. Uh, let's lock allow household only. Allow household only. Uh, these gardens will need to be tamed a hell of a lot, so that's going to be hard. Let's lock allow household only as well. Um, okay. Excuse me, I didn't... J Jack, I didn't ask you to pick up... Oh, God, this is why I get stressed out. This is literally why I get stressed out. 
Okay, get out of the way and let's go over here and use the toilet in your bathroom. Okay. Are you going now? Okay, that's fine. So Jack, please put Ashton in his crib and leave him be. Yes? Okay, that's perfect. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's go ahead and let's serve some breakfast. Let's have some cereal for everyone. You, miss, why are you just standing there for? Just standing there looking at the floor as if it's going to evaporate. Like, really? Um... Okay, at least she's fed Faith, so that's fine. Let's go ahead and put Faith in her crib. And you can come to your own bathroom and take a poo as well. Actually, no, let's come to this one. Uh, come to this one, and I'm going to make her practice her witchery. Uh, I want her to uh, study the neutral magics. Because I want her to be a neutral witch, not a good, not a bad. So let's study the neutral magics and get some more skills going. Uh, where are Harry and Jaden? Okay, where's Harry? It's still gonna be the hard part, you know, with the boys. Okay, they're both down here. They're both on the computer doing something with their lives. Okay, that's fine. Uh, let's see if this toilet actually works and see if someone can actually use it. I hope they can. It would be great. Uh, oh crap, they have school too. <gasps> Shoot. Okay, let's not do that. You go ahead and couple the school with all students. So everyone better get their ass to school right now. Okay. Actually, no. You use the toilet and then... Can't you go to school? Oh, crap. I've just done it again. Okay. Well, that's awkward. I'm going to make him walk to school then. That's really awkward. Ah. Oh, okay. Uh, where... Okay, and she's in the toilet. Where are you? You're on the computer... What you blog? Are you blogging about arts and crafts? Okay, let's not do that. I want him to call people so that we can get this house in order. So let's go call services and we can call a maid over, a gardener, and I think that's six because I don't, don't want to hire a butler. Last time I hired a butler, they just touch my kids and I'm not in the mood for anything like that. It's just, it's really annoying. So I'd rather not hire a butler if, for my family. So yep, yeah, go ahead and do that okay so let's hire a gardener please uh, yep i have the funds for it just do it yes let's do that i'll be right over that's perfect we got a gardener coming and let's call again a maid and see where we go from there because we need people to clean this house we can't be affording to look after everyone and all the children plus Hire maid. Okay, let's. Yep, that's fine. She's coming right over. So that's perfect. And the kids are cool. Faith and Jade and Ashton are so cute. I love them so much. Okay, uh, does Dirk have work today? Oh, yeah, he has work in the afternoon and he's going to get a promotion, hopefully. Um, actually, is he. Ma uh, actually, he reached his Planet Mass Aspiration? No, he hasn't yet. So he still has a long way to go. Um, let's go and make dinner then. I mean, breakfast because we need to. So let's go, oh, it's lunch now. So let's go serve lunch and we can have, um, hamburgers. Why not? Let's do that. Let's have hamburgers. And she's just learning, casting her spells. Oh, she's so cute. I'm surprised that she's learning so much. I love it. Okay. The plants are what up. Are uh, in wonderful condition. They don't need any attention from me today. So that's good. Um, so she wants to have 10 children. Oh lord, your ovaries. Um, and she wants to be... Wait. Cleo is cured f of being a witch. Well, we can lock that in, to be honest. I don't mind. Uh, is she... Is it, is it Chloe? Yeah, it's Chloe. Is she still friends with Chloe? She is. And I can actually cure her of being a witch. Uh, where is that? Uh, I think I okay. Let me see if I can make. Let's go make potion. Uh, witch be gone. So I want to make witch be gone so that I can hopefully cure, um, Chloe of you know, witchcraft. And Jack was horsing around with some classmates the one afternoon when he manages to effortlessly toss a chair clear across the classroom. Jesus Christ. 
and the football coach notices the display of skill and prompts and promptly gives Jack a spot on the team. Within days, Jack becomes a star player and comes home with 150 Somalians Player of the Year award. And really, like he chucks a chair, almost killing someone in the process, and you give him a, a scholarship. Like, I mean, like you know, you give him a spot on the team. Like, really, that doesn't work. That's not how life works, darling. Okay, let's go ahead and stop her from doing that. Let's um, study some witchery. Uh, since Jack is home now, I'm going to get him to go sort out uh, Jaden and stuff. I want to put that thing in, actually. I want to put that table in. Uh, where is it? Where is it? I think it's in... Um... Yeah, it's in here. I want to put this in. Uh, where the kids, we can all... Yep, that's where I can bathe them as well. So I want to put that in. And let's go and bathe Ashton because Ashton put himself first. And he needs all the love and support that he can. Um, a member of the household has bought some new, some new clothes. And now they just need a dresser or a mule to get them, to keep them. Who bought home new clothes, please? Wait, who is this? Oh, he has work. <laughs> Hurry the hell up and eat then, baby. I have no idea he had work. Wow, okay. Has she made... Has she made that? The thing yet? She hasn't made it yet. Hurry up and make it. Jesus. It's not that hard. Oh, look at Jack bathing Ashton. When is Jack ready to go to university, by the way? Um, okay, he can go to university now if he feels like it. But I'm going to keep him for a little bit and just like help get him to help me around with the kids and stuff. And then he can go off to university. Um, God, the kids are so annoying. Okay, let's put Ashton in crib and then let's come here and bathe Faith. Because she needs some love too. Oh, that's so cute. Okay, that's perfect. So, both children are sorted. Hopefully they should be sleeping now because... Yep, yeah, okay, good. Ashton's asleep, so that's great. I'm really happy. And uh, Laura's learnt her witchery, witch be gone or whatever that thing is. Um, but she's getting really exhausted, so I'm going to get to stop doing that. And let's go downstairs and eat some food let's go grab a plate of that and let's go put away leftovers afterwards and oh there's no sorry plate here okay let's go grab plates of that and eat both of them because Dirk left the other half and let's leave that for Jack because I think he might eat it and um I think I'm gonna call um let's call uh Chloe or Cleo is it Chloe yeah it's Chloe let's call Chloe to come over and you know um uh, be turned into a good witch or a normal human being and hopefully it'll work i'm not sure how it works with people so i'm gonna try and see if it works if it doesn't work and it backfires i'm, I'm so done and <laughs> i just can't deal with it um harry's bought has brought her a friend from school who's that uh mia shin which is i think her that's his um his cousin his cousin yeah that's his cousin okay interesting um actually harry you need to come over here and clean your table so harry's gonna have this table here so come and clean desk and Jaden is gonna go ahead and have this one here so they can both clean desk i should have cleaned it before they went to school but unfortunately i didn't um i think i'm gonna say goodbye to your cousin because i don't want people walking around my house it kind of irritates my soul and I don't want that, that stress. So let's go put um, Faith in her crib. And I think we're done with the bathing. Yes, we are. Uh, he can go ahead and start on his homework then. Because he's actually in a very, very good mood. And I don't know why. He's really happy for some reason. <laughs> oh, I guess that's his choice, isn't it? So that's fine. And both children are asleep. That's so good. I'm happy. Uh, Harry is such a good boy. I mean, not Harry. Uh, Jack is such a good boy. Okay, they're both cleaning the desk, but I have no idea where the homework is, so I need to get that sorted. Uh, let's call Cleo, or Chloe. He's saying Cleo. Okay, it's Chloe. Let's invite her over if she's down for that. Um, Harry, where's your homework? I want you to do your homework. Oh, I knew it. I knew it was put downstairs next to the computer, so... Okay, that's your homework, so come and do your homework, and you come ahead and do your homework. Um, yeah, because she has nothing else to do. 
No, you're afraid to come because I'm going to turn you into a witch. Into a normal human being. You can't come. Sounds great. I'll be there in a few. Okay, that's good. At least she'll be over. Come on. Oh, she's already there. <laughs> she just flew here. She's basically just here already. Okay, let's cast a spell. Oh, we can't. Cast a spell. Uh, is there a way that we can... Um... Okay, I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna try and see how this works and see if we can turn her into a normal witch. Let me, okay, let me see how it says here. You, um, your sim wants to see people cured from witchery. You can try to obtain a witch be gone e to get rid of these pesky um, magic powers, but she's got it right. Yeah, she's got it. She's got two of them. So hopefully. Do I have to put it down somewhere? Like, do I have to put it on the floor? Uh, drink entire bottle to remove all side effects may it vary. Uh, do I give her a gift? Uh, let's give, let, let's try giving gift. That might work. Okay. Let's give her... I've already got a spell book. Dang. I don't want that. Okay, let's give her that. Hopefully... That might work. I don't even really know. Uh, oof, I don't know what to do now. The sim has to drink the whole thing. Okay. Let's um put it down there. And let's see. Let's try and... No, let's try and influence her. Can we influence people? Influence to drink. Yes, influence to drink, which be gone. Okay, is it gonna work? <gasps> it's gonna work? <gasps> oh. <gasps> Wait. Oh. Oh, Lord. <gasps> oh, my God. Sorry, it lagged out my game just there a little bit, but it worked! <gasps> Chloe! Chloe's normal! She's not green anymore! <gasps> that is actually amazing! No freaking way! I am actually so shocked. We actually cured a witch. Like, that's actually mad. Oh my god! That's freaking amazing. I'm so happy. No way. I am actually so happy that it worked. Oh, we've actually learned something today. I'm so happy. I'm actually just beyond happy right now. Um, okay, we need to say goodbye to her. to Actually, to everyone. I want, to, I want everyone to leave. And then let's go let her watch some TV. I can't believe that actually worked. <laughs> wow. I'm really shocked. I didn't think it would work, but it actually does. So, that's actually freaking great. Like, that's actually amazing. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, no, not her. Oh, come on. Sorry, Jack. Why are you upset? Okay, let's go ahead and let's go and play some games. Uh, why are the lights in this house working, please? Auto lights. All lights. Thank you. Oh, it's not really, like, you know... Night time, yeah, it's sunset, which is a bit weird, and I find it quite disturbing, don't you think? Guys, it looks really weird and disturbing, but yeah, that's how life is. Oh my gosh, everything is so perfect right now. I'm actually really happy that that actually freaking worked, and I finally did something sp spontaneous and amazing. Like, it feels so good. Okay, let's go join her, and when you're done, you can go and join her too. Wow. So anyway, guys, I'm going to end this episode here. So thank you guys for watching. If you like to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for new around here, it does mean a lot. And I will see you all in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.